Hey guys, Troy here. This is Before the Throne of God Above by Spirit and Truth Music in the original key of D. And I just have to say it's so special for me to say by Spirit and Truth Music. Um, this song in particular is very, very special to me. Uh, more than 10 years ago, the gentleman who welcomed me onto the worship team uh, befriended me. And before that, and even more importantly than that, was uh, turned out to be my best friend. Um, before that was the guy who prayed for me New Year's Eve that Jesus Christ would save me, that God would give me a new heart, and that he would grant me faith and repentance, and that I would become his child. And uh, God answered his prayer, and I'm so thankful for him doing that for me. And um, So we used to play this song together at church. We'd lead it together, and it was one of my favorites. And fast forward you know, uh, to a couple years ago, um, my friend Josh, who was the worship leader at um, our church, well, I asked him if we could do this, and we ended up making an arrangement, a new arrangement, and this is what you hear now, and it's morphed over the years, and then we finally decided to track it, and um, this is the first song, actually, that I've mixed and mastered on my own and released, so we're really happy with the way it turned out, and I'm really, really excited about being able to do this stuff and like learning how to uh, master and mix and do all that crazy stuff so uh it's like a new journey for me definitely enjoying it for sure but uh yeah these are the guitar parts so this is the lead guitar part there is a, a second electric guitar part that plays some nice stuff um i have a tab for that part over at guitar for his glory.com that's available uh to members um but this is the meat of the guitars here that you're hearing and i'm using the hx stomp so i didn't record with the hx stomp i actually tracked this song with my pedal board and the axe effects like I would normally. But for the last couple of months, I've been really working hard at the stomp again. And it's because I've learned a lot about EQ. Um, I've learned a lot about what a guitar tone needs to sit in the mix well. And I felt like that was really easy to get with the axe effects and I didn't feel like it was so easy to get with the stomp. So I've taken some of that knowledge that I've learned and applying it to the stomp and using some onboard EQ in the stomp to do um, what I think uh, is a better job at getting it to fit in the mix right away without having to do anything in post or have the sound guy chase frequencies around and things like that. So really happy with these presets, man. Um, this is the HX Stomp Amp Pack version 3. So you can check that out over at guitarforhisglory.com uh, and read about it and things like that. So I have like a readme and uh, goes through like my favorite presets and stuff like that. So uh, in any case, that's what I'm using for this one. And uh, if you want the video that has the tablature and stuff that goes across the screen and gives you like a deeper explanation of the tones and stuff that I'm using, that's also at guitarforhisglory.com. So uh, head over there if you need some help with that. So let's talk about the words uh, to this song. Why do I like this song so much? And uh, really it's a lot of the same with a lot of the hymns and stuff that we've been redoing and that I gravitate toward is because you don't have to wait to like, you know, the, the third line and the fourth verse to get to something that's impactful from a truth standpoint. You may sing through a whole song and it's got fun lyrics and things like that or lyrics that are about us and um, not very meaningful from a theology stance or a doctrine stance. And, you know, deep theology and deep doctrine lead to doxology. They lead to worship because you're worshiping in spirit and truth, right? Um, so this song is, like many of the hymns, like I said, that I love. Even just the first verse, before the throne of God above, I have a strong and perfect plea, a great high priest whose name is love, whoever lives and pleads for me. And this talks about the intercession of Christ, and may we never forget about his interceding work. So he died, was buried, God brought him back to life to prove his power over sin and death and to display that his sacrifice was sufficient to atone for us. Christ ascended on high, and he is at the right hand of God to this day, interceding for believers, for if you're a believer, for you and for me. And what that means for us is, like 1 John 1, 9, right? If we sin, if we confess, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's what he's doing when we confess, that intercessory work. Also, he's sanctifying our prayers. So when we pray, even with the wrong motive, he's sanctifying our prayers. He's sanctifying our worship. So if our worship becomes uh, 
self-centered or man-centered or we're up there just going through the motions. Um, he's sanctifying that worship because, right, it says that our righteousness is but filthy rags to God. So Jesus is sanctifying that for us and making it a pleasing aroma to the Father, that intercessory work. So just the first verse, man, it's like there's so much in there about why we should be worshiping Christ. It has nothing to do with us at all, but everything to do with him and what he has done and what he is doing to this very day to ensure that we are reconciled to God, number one, and that number two, we are God's children, that this adoption is complete. That as he looks on us, I say this in like every video, as God looks on us because of what Christ has done and that we are in Christ, he sees us as he sees his son, holy and blameless. Holy and blameless. And if you're honest with yourself, you know that you're not. You know that you sin. You know that you've rebelled against the Lord. You know that your motives for a lot of things are selfish. You know that you don't do the things that you should and you do things that you shouldn't. You know this. Yet, if you're in Christ, when you stand before the throne of God, you have a strong and perfect plea. A great high priest whose name is love, whoever lives and pleads for us, for you and for me. It's just, that's why these songs are so powerful. That's why I love them so much. So, in any case, thank you. Uh, if you've made it this far through the intro of the video, I just want to preach the truth here more than anything. And I hope it's encouraging to you. I hope it's convicting. And I hope that it helps you see Jesus for all he is and behold his glory. So, love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. My name is Craven. Changeable I am, the King of glory.